Okay, a minute late. I forgot to tweet too. Doggone it. Oh well, they'll get notifications, so no worries. I already lost a viewer. Oh, dude. So when you can hear me, um, put something in chat so I know you're here. Hi, Lynn. I'm going to get my pop-out chat. I should put something on the table so there's something to... I'll just put this junk because I'll do my mini haul first. There, yeah, now you guys can see it. Hi, Denise. Hi, Kim. Hi, Linda. Okay, everybody must have got notifications. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Free American. That's Kelly. That's my um, daughter-in-law. Hi, Deborah. How's everything down there? I heard you guys got, like, maybe not you guys, Kelly, but I heard there was amazing rain down in Oklahoma City, like flooding and everything. Robert told me, so I don't know how trustworthy that is. Anyway, Eileen's not here yet, if you'll notice. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Anyway, oh, I've got to go get something because you guys are going to have to help me. I feel so stupid, but whatever. Stuff happens. I hope Eileen didn't fall asleep. The appointment went great. Um, I'm always a little anxious, even though he's feeling good. You only got five, oh, a half an inch. Everywhere around us got three, four, five inches. Oh my gosh. Yeah, fashionably late. Um, but the appointment went well. I'm always a little anxious before we go. And just because you don't know, you know, and, um, one thing I do know is if, um, if they were at the least bit worried, they'd be watching him a lot more closer. But anyway, all the numbers came back as good as they've been in over a year, some of them. So that was really good. And then they went ahead and did the APL test again and it came back completely clear. So he's six months out now. Um, hi, Teresa. Hi, Picola. Um, and so they've taken him off all the antibiotics and things that they keep cancer patients on, you know, to help him fight infections. So his immune system must be a lot stronger. So yeah, everything was really good. So yay for Robert and yay for me. So, yeah, it was a good day. It really was. And then all we did after that was greet. And I went to Hobby Lobby and Tuesday morning and picked up some groceries and came home. Hi, Kathy's Creative Life. I'm glad you got here live. So we've got a new person. Make her feel really welcome. So anyway, I can't believe Eileen is so late. I'm going to pull out just a little bit. Um, set up, I think, like that today. And that's even fairly straight. So, yes, Kelly, that it is good news. And I'm sure um, Robert will tell Eddie. Um, but, yeah, I agree. God is good. Hey, she finally showed up. Hi, Eileen. Um, so, yeah. Sweet Robert is just blowing and going. He's all good. I should have you get me some stencils on Tuesday morning. We don't have one here. Teresa, I'll keep um I'll keep my eyes out for you because I actually did get a stencil at Tuesday morning yesterday and they're really great prices. Hi Linda. Hi Kim. Hi Margaret. So thanks everybody for coming. Um just to, I'll, I'll do my haul really quick. I needed some um, 
raw sienna paint. So I was in Hobby Lobby. They carry Americana brand. I went ahead and got it. Usually I buy like the apple barrel, like the cheapest kind. It's fine. Hi, Lane. Um, so I got the brown paint that I needed, which was no big deal. Um, and then I got these um, planner glue pens. You guys, these are the best. I don't know if they're the best in the world. But Xandra had given me one when we went to Australia. And I loved them. So I used my 40% coupon off on the glue pens. But these are really glue pen, good glue pens. And my other favorite is the Elmer's Extreme. This is my other favorite. But Uhu is really good too. So, um, well, okay, Eileen, that's what, okay, you're going to laugh at me. And I don't care because you always laugh at me and make fun of me. And I'm okay with that. Um, that was actually why I went ahead and picked up some more of these because I'll show you in just a minute why. And then I went into Tuesday morning and the only things I got there was they had this Tim Holtz set that they did not have the first time. So I like the popcorn, the gumball. I just liked it. So I went ahead and got that. Whether or not I'll ever use it, who knows? Sometimes I need my head examined. And then this stencil. Um, I've seen somebody else use this. Um, and I like this, and it was only a buck ninety nine. So I went ahead and got it. And then the other flyer I took was they had a bunch of these Bow Bunny um, Whisper stencil paste. I've never used them, but I figured for two bucks I'd go ahead and give it a try. This one is like ice; it's white. Um, but they had gold, silver, blue. They had all different colors. Um, that is a great price, isn't it, Kathy? Um, the stamps were five bucks and they still had a bunch of these. Um, they had the autumn one. I came real close to get the autumn ones with the leaves and the acorns. But then I figure I've got 10 billion acorns out in my front yard. Um, do I really want one in the house? <laughs> so hi, Kimberly. Um, so, yeah, they had a bunch of these Tim Holtz stamps again. Um, and then all this bow bunny, they had some pretty good stuff yesterday. And hi, Dorothy. Um, one thing that was really unusual for my Tuesday morning was everything was in its place. Like somebody had just been through that aisle and cleaned it up and you could actually find stuff. Usually it's like so trash out, but they're redoing the whole store, apparently mine. And they had all their um, Halloween stuff out autumn stuff, everything they had out. So, um, all right, Teresa, are you on um, Twitter? I don't remember everybody who's on Twitter. You want the C1? They did have a couple of those too. Um, and your Tuesday morning has no craft at all. That's so weird. Hi, Lisa. Um, I don't know if I said hi, Joan. Um, okay, Teresa, um, I'll send you a message on, um, Twitter and we can exchange phone numbers or something so that when I go there, if I think they have something that you would be interested in, I will, um, I'll, I can get a hold of you easier than going through Twitter. So let's do it that way. But if I don't get a hold of you, get a hold of me because my memory is really stinky. I'm going to write myself a note. And I don't mind doing stuff like that, you know, um, like if, if I can get something at my Tuesday morning that you guys would want or something and you're willing to pay the postage and stuff like that, I'll happily do it. I've done it for Eileen. If I'll do it for her, I'll do it for anybody. Oh, and I had a thought before I came on today. I wondered what Eileen did, you know, like what school she went to and what she majored in and stuff like that. I figured it out this morning. She went to Trickerhead University and she majored in trickerheading because she is relentless about it. I love the ice cream cone too. I think they only had one of these, but who knows? Next time I go, there might be more. Never know. <laughs> is it not true, Eileen? Did you not go to Trickerhead U? 
You did. I know you did. So that was my haul yesterday. It was pretty pitiful, actually. And when there's one other, well, two other things that I got. Well, and then there's something I want to show you because it's so damn cute. Um, I did get, they had all the um, paper studio products, 50% um, off. And they had the big pad of this uncharted cardstock. And then they had this little one. And it's just the maps, which I love. So I almost got the big one, but I thought, no, the little one's easier to store and I'll use it just as much. So I got the, the small uncharted um, pattern paper, which I need, like I need a hole in the head. Or she majored in spell casting. Exactly. She did something. And then the only other thing I got was I picked this up. It was in the planner aisle. And this is the rose gold. And I thought it was the foil like um, Z had. Hi, Jean. Hi, Mindy. Um, but it's not. What the hell do you use this stuff for? It's got like a paper backing. I wanted the real foil. And I never saw it. Um, it. There's not much to it, Jean. You'll look at it and go, what the hell did she buy that crap for? Um, but anyway, does anybody know what the heck? Because I can't take it back now because I cut this square out. Um, it's wrap This is just wrapping paper. Well, why the hell was it in the um, planner aisle? Somebody tell me what to do with this crap now that I've got it. Because there's a bunch on here. <laughs> I guess I can wrap presents in it. But it was just like, and it was also 50% off. So it was only like three bucks. But it's the wrong stuff. So what the hell? To plan on gifts to wrap. <laughs> you knuckleheads. Oh my God. I got it home and I was so excited to play with it, you know, because I got these super duper planner glue pens that I knew Z had used hers with. Die cuts. I don't have a die cut machine. Yeah. I was just like, oh, and now I still don't have the foil. Ugh. Anyway, that was all my haul. It was tiny and it was no big deal. And I didn't spend a lot of money. Use it to layer your artwork on ATCs. I guess I am a silly shopper, Eileen. I go in there. I'm, uh, I don't know. Anyway, so then when I got home, well, not when we were on our way home, the neighbor called, um, and he said, "Where are you guys at? When are you getting home?" And I said, "We'll be home about ten or fifteen minutes." Okay, I'll come down. I got a present for you. So I come home, and he hands me this bag. And it says a gift for you. And he wrote a nice little note that says corn dogs because he comes down and I fix him corn dogs. Um, I have heard, but yeah, I am a good. Anyway, so he comes down and I fix him corn dogs for a little snack during his day. And look what he did. He This boy pays attention, I promise you. This is a Muji toolkit. How cool is this? He paid attention. He knows I have Muji products. So he got me this cool Muji toolkit that will go in my cleaning tote. But look at this. You have a screwdriver, every size screwdriver. And I like tools too. And then there's also a hole in the side. So you can use it this way. Where was it? One of them did it, Robert or him, hang on. Yeah, there it is. So you can have a screwdriver like that too. Isn't that nice? A toolkit, this is scary. No, it'll go in my cleaning cart, your little tote, so I can tighten screws when I'm cleaning. And I just thought that was so nice and thoughtful. And it's Muji. And then when I opened up the something, I grabbed this and I was just like, oh, those are Muji scissors too. <laughs> anyway, I just thought that was so nice. Yeah, I like that too. It's just so small and handy and it's perfect. How could you not love a cool tool set like that? So that was my haul. Not much, believe me, not much at all. And I'm pissed about the foil. I'm really pissed about the foil. Don't let Robert near it. I know yesterday when he brought it up, Robert was sitting here and he's like messing with it. I was like, 
I'm going to stab you with a screwdriver. Hi, Jillian. She will unscrew sweet Robert. Uh, I'm afraid he'll lose all his marbles. I have not ordered the black watercolor jean. Um, I guess I'm going to have to go on Joe's Cheap Art Stuff or Blix or something. Um, Amazon didn't have any that I saw that I wanted. And they didn't have any yesterday. I did actually look. Um, at Hobby Lobby only, obviously, because I didn't go anywhere else. Um, they didn't have any. So until I get my black watercolor paper, I'm just going to have to mess with it on um, just regular black paper. Um, well, and Eileen, I think that is an option. Eileen said get the black watercolor ground, and I think that is probably the option I'm going to look at. I just really wanted the black watercolor paper because then it's one less step if you want to play with your stuff. And then if you get the ground down, then you have to dry it. And it's just like, oh my gosh, that's so much trouble. But the black watercolor ground might be a good option. But I think I'm going to order it from um, Jeannie had um, recommended some other watercolor paper. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I know it's going to be a lot cheaper. Um, Dorothy says she gets it from Amazon and I don't know how much of it I want. That's another thing. How many, how often am I really going to use black paper, black watercolor paper? Watercolor ground gives you, um, um, well, it's, it's just like any other ground, you know, you can do absorbent ground and that's really what it is. It turns your paper into a surface that will watercolor nicely much like um, cotton fiber paper. Kia, you're bad. I ordered mine and they'll be here today. 24 sheets for eight pounds. Yeah, see, I don't know. And, you know, everybody's telling me, oh, you need the 100% watercolor paper. If I was really a, a watercolor artist, I can, yeah, you can put it on wood or whatever. I would probably go whole hog, but uh, as of now, I don't, I'm not seeing the point, but I'm probably changing for Eileen. She was insistent that I do um, magical paper for the inside of her journal, which is this, let me pull it out here, with the real brown cover. And look at how much, I mean, I don't have a photo the other day. I wish I'd taken a photo when it was wet so I could show you the comparison. Um, wait till you open it, Janet, the package. I know. I've seen the packaging on um, Xander's stream and on Patty's. And Eileen, I don't know. She'll probably have to paint hers. But um, I'll like the pink because I'm. I like pink. What does the colored ground do? Dye the paper? No, it just puts a barrier of that color on the paper. It's not going to change the actual paper color. Amazon has 48 she sheets, two pack for $17.25. Send me a link, link, Elaine, and we can look at doing that. Anyway, so I don't know if you guys remember the paper that we did for Eileen. Hey, CB. Um, but it's like all the color that was so vibrant the other day, just like disappeared it, where did it go? And this is the paper towel that was underneath. It was almost like the paper towel has more color than the actual sheet. So Eileen, I need to ask you, do you like this? It wouldn't let you post a link. Hmm. It is, see, I just was like, this is gross. I remember where I did the experiment down here with the brown? Now that's pretty. And I thought, I wonder if I could um, resurrect this paper, um, get it wet again, get it flat again. That's no big deal. Hi, happy Diane. Um, and either use the ink or some of the vintage photo 
reinker that I've got, you know, the actual liquid reinker, and see if I turned it more brown. Um, if it, it would be salvageable, because actually down here over it, overneath it, what the hell? Um, where you can see the orange through, it's really pretty then, but like that, that is but ugly, ugly. So I thought, well, I'll just wait while you guys are here and do uh, um, an experiment with either the brown ink or um, the vintage photo, which is going to be more red, but I could mix it. I did put, there are gold spots on top of it, Kathy, and it's still but ugly. So I'm just going to try this real quick. I'm going to get part of it wet down here next to this brown because we're just going to experiment now because this is, I mean, it's very muted. I could use it for something, but um, your liquid didn't faint on the B marker paper. Your liquid. Well, the inks didn't fade so much as the magicals, Jean. That's what I'm saying. You really got it out of Roxy's litter box. <laughs> Because look when I get it wet again. I mean, those colors come back vibrant as ever, right? Maybe I need to get some wet look paint. So right down here, ooh, that's a lot. Let me smoosh out some of this color. And, of course, it's going to dry lighter than it appears right now. We're just going to do an experiment because what the hell, we got nothing better to do. Well, we might have better stuff to do, but. And try and make it look like it would look good with the. Hi, Miros Miroslava Cole. Huh. Hi, welcome. I did make the paper all by myself with Magicals. The M. Grams did that on the Strathmore marker paper. <coughs> I'm going to have to go back and watch your whole stream, Jean. Exactly, Teresa. Paybacks. So spray. Hi, Ian. I could spray gloss varnish to finish on it. I do have some, some gloss varnish. I'm going to dry this real quick and see when it lightens up what happens. Excuse <coughs> me. I think I'm just going to have to use it for something else, really. And then where there's white magic, look at how it just, they sit right on the paper. Do you have the magicals? The magical powders are amazing. They're tons of fun. I could be a salesman for them. Oh, she doesn't want gloss. Never mind. I wonder if I did the gloss just to bring the colors out and then covered it with matte medium. Yeah, brush hose do the same thing, dispersing in different colors with water. That's true, Margaret. Yes, they're just different products. I think the magicals are very much like the brush hose. It's not looking really crappy yet. And I'm not sure that I want to spend a whole hell of a lot of time trying to resurrect this either. But I think when this vintage photo lightens up and you can see the color through it. So what do you want me to do, Eileen? And I know what you're going to say. Um, I know. I am the salesman. They owe me. Now it's looking like old vintage paper. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. And it's going on this cover, which is not, ex I mean, this looks grungy and yeah. <laughs> Teresa. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm not sure that it's worth resurrecting, frankly. I knew you were going to say that, Eileen. 
Well, I'm not using the B paper because really, um, it all of it mutes when you um, when it dries. There's no doubt about that. But this was really, really vibrant when it was wet, and that's what I was saying. You know, when I was using the B paper, it's like, oh, this stuff is awesome. Yeah, everybody knew she was going to say that. All right, we'll let this dry. It's almost dry. It's kind of damp. I don't know. The vintage photo didn't work for sure. That is definitely here because that's just, it's not workable, not doable. So now I still for Eileen's journal. If I didn't know, um, don't use that medium, you need glossy. See, that's what I think too, that the mat is going to always flatten it back out. So, eh. now the one thing I do that we could try is I do love the magicals on the um, paper towel or on <clears throat> tissue paper. I'm buffering like crazy on your TV. Is everybody else having that tr problem? I think I have my latency down as low as it will go. So tell me if everybody. I'd like to get one of these journals done. Everybody is buffering. Uh, I don't know. What about a thin layer of iridescent paint? You're buffering almost nonstop. Hmm. Well, if it's if it's universal, that almost tells me it's my time. And then Dorothy says she's not buffering. Uh. And you've got your setting down to 360, and Margaret's not buffering. I I don't get this. I really don't. But I'm beginning to suspect that maybe it is my problem. Um, I did not do a speed test today. Kathy's saying hers comes and goes. Oh, that's so annoying. I do it. Um, yours got better when you turned it up to 720. No buffering here. All right. Well, if, if, if we've got people who are not buffering, then that tells me one, it's maybe not my problem because with transmission, um, it would be universal, I think. I'm probably going to have to look into it and find out. I really am. Jesus. I hate problems. I hate problems more than anything. All right. I'm thinking I'm going to use. This was so not what I was going to do today. But when I saw that paper, the way it dried, it was just like, you don't have a choice, girl. You're going to have to do something or use pattern paper. So I guess I'll use the, um, this is just laser copy paper. It's a little bit heavier than the normal. Um, 720 doing okay here. Mine's on 720. Okay, so you guys, the people who are on 720 apparently are not having any trouble. Maybe if you guys will try that and then check back with me and tell me how it's going. But it seems like the people who are doing okay are on 720. Go figure. I don't know. All right. I guess I'm doing magicals. I'm going to do an experiment, too, because I was thinking, and I have this craft paper out here, I was wondering about magicals on the craft paper, too. So let's just do it. What the hell? Why not? We can't dance. Let me go get some more water. Okay, still about for some on 720. I don't know, because I'm not having any other trouble with my internet, except on YouTube. Okay. 
I had some buffering, a little bit of buffering at Dee Dee's this morning, but I wasn't there enough to really see how consistent it was. I love her magazine um, journals, but I just had a lot of stuff to catch up. The live keeps going off for you. And see, when I'm live, I don't have the live. Okay, Jean just said that she put it on 720, click live, and it settled down. I don't know. I, I wish I knew. I really wish I knew. But anyway, I'm going to try this craft paper, too. All right, Eileen, are we going to go for the same colors again? Okay, don't worry. It's not bad enough to stop the stream. Okay, I'm going to get everything I don't want covered in color off of here. In fact, I'm going to move this whole darn thing. Give myself some room. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Oops. Rulers falling out of the sky, Eileen. It's my definition of heaven right there. All right, now we got plenty of room. I think that's fairly good for you guys. It's good for me. Next time, set it on low latency instead of ultra low. Okay, I could do that. It could very well be a ruler storm. I know. Same colors. Oh, my gosh. All right. So what were the colors? I know it was green and orange and brown. Green and orange and brown. Let's see. And I used the darker of the greens, and I'm going to use the... What was the brown that I really, really liked? Coffee LA. And I've taken these out of their original packaging, so I can't really tell you which set each of these colors are in. So sorry. Um, and there's the other brown. I want kind of like that olive green one wherever it went. Here it is. Go grease, grease lightning green. All right, we've got some greens and browns and one orange. If this one doesn't work, Eileen, I'm going to use pattern paper. Um, and you're just going to have to live with it. And if you don't want it, I'll keep it myself. Now, this paper will buckle pretty badly with the water because it's just copy paper, right? So um, the way to keep it from curling is spray on both sides. And I'm not sure if this paper, if there's an up and a down or a front and a back, you know, because it's just garbage paper, really. Um, and this is definitely going to soak through the paper onto the paper towel a lot. We're not gonna worry about that though. All right, we've got wet paper. Oh, now one thing that's really weird is it's picking up the magicals from the paper towel underneath. That's crazy. All right, here we go. We're going. We're going with the green first. Just tape it down. That's what I'm going to do, Eileen. If it doesn't work, I'm going to use the new um, wrapping paper, the new rose gold. It's actually kind of pink, Eileen. <laughs> And the reason I'm making two sheets is because one will not be enough to um, to do the insides. So I'm making two. 
and they don't have to be identical, just reasonably the same. Hi, Susan. Is it some ink and powder? Yeah, this these are the magical powders. Um, and they are pigment in powder, yes, in powder form. And this is how I made the paper before. And I'm doing mostly green because she's a green girl. And this is the green that had a lot, a lot of blue in it. It's still going to be pretty light. I'm going to use, oops, put the other green right on top of it right now. Hi, Sandra. Little shaker bottles myself, so can't buy them in these little shaker bottles. If you want them in these kind of bottles, you're going to have to um, order the bottles, the little shaker things from the Wish app. What did you get from the Wish app that you decided you liked Wish? I thought I was, it was watercolor, very interesting stuff. Yeah, no, it's, it's little powders. I know. That's what CB will do. I like how it looks right now. See, the, I do too, Kathy. This is where I would kind of stop. I would add some brown to it and then call it done. I'm done. She's making me do magicals again. Again. But she wants brown, green, and orange, which are to me the grossest colors together. Yeah, I'm doing um, the inside of her journal, um, which I don't think it matches at all. That's the thing that's really killing me is this does not match the journal at all. Here's the journal cover. Oops, got to fix that. Here's the journal cover, and it's it'll be the inside papers for here and the front of this. So, <clears throat> yeah. I know, Susan. Isn't that the truth? You guys are sick of it. Got 10 makeup brushes to use like Tim's blending brushes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I've gotten some pretty good stuff from Wish, so. I want pan pastels. Don't talk about pan pastels. See, and I want it to stay this vibrant. And the other day with the B paper, I really thought, oh my gosh, it's going to stay really vibrant and pretty. But lo and behold, it did not. CB Patty is letting me sell her rose gold with watercolor. Oh, that's cool, Z. Ugh, sounds to me like I've got another order coming then. And you guys, I did order from Xander the other day. Eileen, I got those, um, the bird stamps. I do have pan pastels. I just don't have very many of them, Lynn. I want the whole set. I want the Didi set. And last week I was drawing in between. I'm not going to today. Well, I might decide to. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to draw as much in between because I thought that would really set the colors. But we'll see. Now I like this with the brown and the green. I wouldn't add orange. I mean, can we not add orange? Because the orange takes over everything. I love this brown. This is um, Cafe LA. I love this brown so much. It's got a lot of blues and orange. And see, the brown has orange in it, Eileen, so we should probably leave the orange off. A little orange. Okay. She's going to tone herself down a little bit, I think. 
And I'm putting a lot of brown because I think the brown will make it go with the cover better. This paper, though, is not um, curling like the B paper did. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Janet. And all. How many pan pastels do you have? I have the um, primary set of 10. Um, and then I bought the um, pastel set that has pink, blue, purple, um, a flesh tone. Um, so what? I either have 10 or 15. And then I did go ahead after um, watching Dee Dee the other day, even though she hasn't used the blending powder, I did go ahead and order the blending powder separately. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. And I haven't even used it yet because I've been working on texture covers. But I want to get them out of here. So um, that's why I'm going to go ahead on them. That was finally what made me decide I'd stream today is the sooner I get on this stuff, the sooner I get this mess out of here. For real. So is, is Patty making up a bunch of that rose gold or how did you manage to convince her of that Z? This is pretty now, if it will stay like this. The water helps the powder dissolve and move. Um, and the reason I sometimes I'll dry it in between is because one thing about Magicals that makes it different than some of the other um, Oh, you're making it and selling it. Oh, cool. Um, but one of the things that makes Magical so cool to work with and um, and play with is when they're dry, they are permanent. Um, a lot of the other products are not permanent. So that's why I'll, I'll get a design that I like and then I'll um, dry it because I want it to stay put. And then you can add on top of it. Um, but yeah, that's one nice thing about the Magicals is they are permanent. And I've decided that I really like working on top of paper towels. Um, and I need a paper towel right here. I have some over here. Um, when I get places where it runs like a river and it turns kind of muddy, I've just learned to sop that up. Um, like up there, it was ugly. Like this river, I don't mind. This one, I do mind. It's muddy and it's not a pretty color. So, yeah. Oh, thanks for putting the link in for Z, Eileen. And you're going to sell your mermaid tail one too. Oh my gosh. Ew, I'm going to go broke. Going to go broke. Going to go broke. I think. I don't know what I want to do now. If I want to. I'm trying to think. I love this right in here. This is so pretty right there. I'm thinking I might want to dry it now and then decide if I want to add more to it. Trying to decide, thinking, thinking. Well, I'm glad you like it, Eileen, because I'm either using this one or you're getting pattern paper. That's it. That's the rule. All right, I'm going to dry, um, dry it real quick. Should dry quickly. I'm hoping. Yeah, I hope they stay put. I mean, I like them too. You played with thick white acrylic paint and the magicals on my jelly plate that gives more consistent speckled look. Oh, I have a little jelly plate and I have white acrylic paint. 
huh, I might have to give that a try. That sounds fun. Does the white acrylic um, mute the colors a lot, Kathy? So you're saying uh, um, I have some heavy body white. Um, so the craft paints may not work well. No, it mutes some, but not too much. I also use Titan Buff, just more magic. Okay. Cool. That's a cool idea, actually. Okay, it's Brian. I'm going to suck up some of this. Okay, here, this one's a lot more dry than this one now. So you can see how the colors change when they're drying. Um, but this paper isn't doing the same as that B paper did. We used Liquitex and bought some heavy body. Yeah, I have a little bit of the white heavy body. I'll have to buy another tube if I like it. I don't have a huge amount. And Kathy, one of the reasons I kept adding water is can, can you see here and here and here where the powder, where I, where I sprinkled them, it kind of made a blob. Anything I put on top of that now, if the powder is not completely dissolved, it will reactivate. I promise you. Yeah, Z store is going to be really, really fun. Okay, well, that's good. See, this one got that big river down through it. Mm, not a fan. But see, now I think the actually prettier. And some of you have been around when I've used the PayPal kind of as a collage. I'm trying to think where uh, I'll show you. Because honestly, Eileen, I might end up adding brown to that paper towel um, and do the collage on it. Let me think, where did I put that? What did I do with my skin? Well, that is really crazy. I've hidden my scavenger hunt book from myself. I know I lose some stuff. Oh, there it is. Um, I'm reorganizing again. OMG, what a dumb thing to do. Dumb thing to do. Hey, Paula. Page back here where I did it. 
Okay, here's some of the paper towel that I used as collage, and I haven't done anything on top of it yet, but I really like the way the, the paper towel um, collage papers work. This is um, paper towel that I've collaged in the background. That's another one. So I don't know, that is, um, that is definitely an option. Paper towels and use them. <clears throat> okay, what colors do you want more of, Eileen? Or do you want me just to leave it like this and call it a day? Are you going to put gold splatters on them? I can definitely do that. It just American. Or some fantastic watercolor. Did you? Oh. I was going to say. Yeah, I can do the brown and the gold splatters again. I might do the. Um. Because I, I actually like the brown splatters. I'll do some vintage photo splatters on this one. But what do you want more of? It looks good just the way it is. Leave it the way it is. Okay. Do you want splatters, gold and brown on it? Before I do this, I better ask. This actually will be pretty on, this, um, on the insides if it'll just stay like this. Not splats. Okay. Eileen is always up for a good splat. And when the water's still damp, they kind of um, spread out and mute a little bit. So that, that's always cool, too. If you want them to stay exactly like they are, wait until it dries completely before you add them. And these will lighten a little bit. If they lighten too much, I'll go back and add them again. Full strength, because this is watered down vintage photo. Okay. Okay. Hi, Kenny. All right. And so, um, and then do you want gold on it too, Eileen? I'm trying to think if I want to use that. I think you like splats. It so reminds you of Jean. <laughs> She's just bugging Jean now. Uh, let's see, I have the gold ink, FW inks. I'll just use it. Let me get a little. I'm for gold. It's amazing. Yeah, well. Yeah, I like the splats, how they've kind of splatted out and they're not real. Oops, you got gold splats whether you want it or not. <laughs> Jesus. And this is just the gold FW inks. Um, for a person who doesn't like gold and shimmery, I'm sure getting a lot of gold and shimmery. Um, my Paul Rubin paints will be here later on this afternoon, Paula. <laughs> and what else did I buy in that order? Um, I bought the Paul Rubin paints and some paper. Yeah, it went everywhere. It's probably on the walls even. I wouldn't be surprised if it's on the walls, but that's okay because this kitchen's going to get redone soon anyway. Well, the whole, my art room, the kitchen, everything is going to get, oh, I ordered Yepo paper and I ordered something else. Hi, Galena. My bird stand will be here already tomorrow? Holy cow, Z, you jumped right on that bad boy. Yeah, because I got a delivery coming this afternoon. All right, I guess I'll dry this and we'll go ahead and I'm wondering if I should um, iron it. I The only time I iron, I'm not kidding. Um, 
I have some decent watercolor brushes, Lynn. They're not great. Um, my niece bought me one really nice one. Um, but then I did go ahead and order some pretty decent watercolor brushes. They're huge. Like these, I bought the big ones, the big rounds, because I didn't have any rounds. But I have really nice flat brushes. I my mom bought really nice brushes. So I have a lot of my mom's really nice brushes. And then I did buy a set of really nice rounds. Um, so, yeah, I think I've got, while I'm learning, you know, maybe as I get better, I'll, I'll buy nicer ones. I don't know. You got the Zen watercolor brushes. Yeah. Oh, good. You have this silver black velvet. I was hearing somebody talk about the black velvet brushes the other day. Um, I don't really haven't heard much about them, don't know much about them. I'm going to have to do a whole brush research thing, I think. Hang on. I'm going to blow this. These splats dry or I'm going to have them everywhere. This should dry quick, very quick. Just buy them. You guys are great at giving all this free. Oh, just buy them. Just buy them. Oh, my gosh. Okay, it, it must have been fatty then, the black velvet. Okay. Oh, you got the other set from Paul Rubin tonight. Oh, Z. Y'all are killing me, man. You're killing me. Oh, this is taking forever to dry. All right, I'm going to set it aside and let it dry, and I'm going to go ahead and cut the chipboard for the inside. Um, oh, I've got to move this stuff. Hang on, my drying place got filled up. Okay, okay. Oh, you know what I want to do real quick? I want to try the ma some magicals on um, craft paper. Just to see. I'm looking for a piece of Look at how pretty that is. Okay. I'm just going to grab some colors. This is just an experiment. Uh, in fact, I'll use the same colors we just used. Um, and I don't know what, this paper is not off that roll. I don't know where this craft paper came from. It might've been packing material, but you guys get this, um, packing material in your um, Amazon orders. So if you want it flat, just iron it. Oh boy, does it absorb the water. Yikes. It's like spray and do it right now. Right now. Eileen, you might like this better. I might end up having to redo it so that we got the brown in the background because that's what actually made me think of this to begin with was if I could start with a brown background, I think I'd feel better about this whole thing.
it's pretty on the brown. I don't know, probably Jean or actually Paula probably can tell you about brush sizes, right, Paula? Because you've been doing a lot of that, practicing with different. I haven't. I pretty much have used my same two brushes. Um, and, oh, and here I should. Um, all right. She just said Paula, most people would suggest a 10 or a 12. The question was, what's the best size? Um, brush and Paul just said most people would suggest a 10 or a 12 as this but they have a starter set of three that you bought okay I think it has four eight and 12 in it all right and that's all um paintbrush sizes and some of you I'm sure are more familiar than others with that whole thing I'm just now learning now, one thing on this craft paper, why would this be? It looks like I can see the white um, moving more. And, of course, maybe it's because I'm not on a white background, right? But can you see all that white moon now? Yeah, they are pricey. I will absolutely agree with that. I don't know. Eileen, we may end up having to redo your papers. I'm liking this better on the craft than on the white. Have you done it before? Um, what color is this? The um, the greens that I were using were, the Magicals were the Grease Lightning Green and the Mercebuku. And then the brown that I just used is my favorite. It's Cafe LA. And you're going to see it start moving here in a minute. And these have a lot of white in them, which when you're doing on white paper, I guess you don't see so much. But now um, I'm seeing the white a lot more. The white is definitely resistant to dissolving. That I know for sure. Um And then I'm going to add some sepia this time. Maybe that's why it got dull. See, that's what I don't know, Kathy. It's, um, Eileen, that's a stupid question. She asked Xander, do we need to have a shopping list ready when we go to Xander's stream tonight? You always have to have um, a shopping list when you go to a Xander's stream. Of course you do. Because she finds all the really cool stuff. And I think the light, let me see if I turn this off. Eh, it didn't help any. Um, yeah, because of the white, maybe that's why it gets muted. It could very well be, Kathy. I, you know, I don't know. Every time I play with them, I come up with a different theory. And then I go talk about it on stream when in reality I should just shut up because I don't know anything. I do like the craft paper too. And I'm going to add some orange because I think the orange is really going to stand out because you can't see the orange um, in the brown like you could on the white. So I'm going to add the orange back. You got a 48 watercolor paints made by Medine, some company that we buy the empty tins from student grade. Oh, Polly, you're so lucky. Polly, you need to stream again and show us all your stuff. Oh, and I'll show my, um, I showed it the other day, Polly, but you were not here. Um, my swatch book. Maybe this is just a mess at this point. I do like it on the brown, though. I'm going to let that absorb for a minute while I go get my, um, Swatch book to show power. I haven't decided how I want to do the Daniel Smith though. And because I was so intimidated, Paula, 
I just got a little five by five journal. Um, and I don't think it's the greatest paper in the world. It's called Field Artist, um, but the leather cover feels so nice. I'm going to move this out of the way um, so I don't get it on my little book here. So I just started out. Paula inspired me to do this. Paula has the coolest swatch book ever. Um, Yeah, I miss Paula a lot too, but I understand it's real life out there, boys and girls. I mean, so I started out with the Jane Davenport brights that I got. This was my first page. It was really messy, but I think I get better as time goes on. And then I splattered somehow, got little smudges, but that's real life. And I'm really trying, and, and Paula, you did... Um, teach me something that I didn't know, never to go from the pan itself to the paper. So some of the early ones, I think this one, I was going direct from the pan to the paper, but then I started putting it off onto a palette and that definitely made, made it really good. Um, the classics, tropicals, and I think my brush control got better. Pastel dreams, decadent pies. I like the Prima paints. Um, these are my two newest ones, Woodlands and Odyssey. Um, and I left room for the Essence and the Shimmering Lights. And then this is the M. Grams that my niece gave me. Um, she just ordered a bunch of individual ones. Loving the mixing circles at the bottom. Yeah, I like that too. Um, and then this was the um, Dr. P.H. Martin Hydras, and that's obviously just the primary set. I don't know how many colors they offer in that. Um, and there was no rhyme or reason for what colors I chose to mix. You know, I just tried to get, you know, like every other one and then mix with some that I thought would work well. So... And then that's just my little painting. And then I have all these pages left to do. But I have a whole set of M grams left to put in there. I mean, a ton of M grams left to put in there. Um, not M grams, um, Daniel Smith. And um, then the Paul Rubens, that are, the glimmery ones that are coming, shimmery, that are coming today. Yeah. So I've got more to add. So that's what you inspired, Paula. All right. Boy, this absorbed all of the color. And look at how it, the, um, the paper towel underneath changed. Yeah, this didn't, I don't know. Maybe the backside's better. I don't know. I'm going to add some, some brown spots. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not crazy about the craft paper, so now we know. I'll just let it air dry. I'm not going to spend the time to dry this because now I know I'm not a fan. Even though the white really stands out, yeah, I'm not a fan. I'll put the gold back in there. The paper towels look great. I know. I'm loving the magicals on the paper towels more than anything. And I've said that over and over, that I would rather have the paper towels. And then collage it, because I think that looks cool. Let's we'll see if the gold gets absorbed completely. All right, I'll set this aside. I wish I hadn't thrown all Robert's newspapers away yesterday. Damn it. I hate when I do that, when I get all cleany, cleany, and throw my usable stuff away. Say bye-bye.
I'll show it again before the end. All right, these are just slightly damp. Use the paper towels then. <laughs> yeah, no, I I definitely save the paper towels and use them. Um, but Eileen, that isn't your colors. The paper towel is gorgeous with the blue and the green. Um, maybe I will, because there'd be plenty of material there to use, I think, if I collage it. All right, I'm gonna just blot, dry this real, real quick, and then we'll see how this looks with the cover. That gold acrylic is taken flipping forever. Usually they dry really quick. I can't do it down when it's um, wet. So, see that paper towel? I think if I added brown and green to that, I think it would be so pretty. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's just make some paper towels because that acrylic is taking flipping forever to dry. See how pretty that brown is in there? Let's add some green to this. Because it's got all her orange on it. And this I would probably collage rather than just stick down the whole sheet. I would collage it. Yeah, and the towels have a lot of texture too. Yeah, and then when I collage them, they get really textury. I'm eager to see this when the um, when the brown gets on it, because this was the vintage photo. This big spot down here, that's where I painted the vintage photo. It'll all get used one one way or another, but I'm thinking. If I had all this to collage with, it would be nice. And I'm trying to keep it more brown to match the cover of the journal. I really am, despite what Eileen wants. She's getting what I want. That's that. What are you doing, stinky boy? Oh, Robert just brought a package in. When he comes in and he's got like this really goofy grin on his face, it means I'm getting something good. Oh, this is getting really, really pretty. It's not addressed to you. Oh. You don't get to order shit from Amazon. Get out of here. It's an Amazon order. Eileen says, hi, sweet Robert. Good morning, Eileen. <laughs> Blow her a kiss. Come on. <coughs> there you go. That's better. All right. Time out. We're doing happy mail. Did you order something for me out in that lunch? What makes you think I would order you anything? <laughs> Have you lost your mind? <laughs> I thought I asked you to order something. I can't remember what it was now. I did order you that tool. That was the last thing I ordered for you. But you already got it. Yeah. All right. Okay, I did order some watercolor paper. Um, some B Paper Company, six by nine inch. 
looks like there's a bunch here. How many sheets are in here? 140, 50 sheets. So that's cool. I'm excited to play with that. Perfect size to make your own little journals. Hello. CB says, hi, Stinky Robert. He left already. We do, Teresa. Um, yeah, he's already scrammed out of here. And then this, I think, is the watercolor. So the yeah, Upo paper or whatever must be coming from a different source because it's not in here. And I know I ordered it, too. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, now I've never seen this. It came from Amazon in this um, um, white package. And it says, Dear Valued Customer, thank you for purchasing products from our Light Wish store. We really appreciate and value your support. Our goal is to keep our customers beyond satisfied, blah, 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 blah. A person needs to wear two things to look great, confidence and a smile. So they must prepackage it and then it goes into the where, um, Amazon warehouse. Look at how fickle she is. Put the paper towels away and play with the shimmers. <laughs> Um, yep, look at how pretty that is, made in China. Ugh, I hate doing anything to help them. They're going to own us all one day. Everything is made in China. All right, just cutting the plastic off. And I really don't want to play with it around this paper towel because I'm going to get my pretty stuff all stuck trashed out so I'm gonna move this real quick I think I am going to use the paper towel Eileen it's so much prettier than the other paper I really think I'm going to do that let me wipe this mess up and it came United States Postal Service which is really weird normally all my Amazon stuff comes um UPS but they might have dropped it off at the post office like they did. Galena saying, I agree with Eileen. That's how pretty it is when you open it. Let me pull it down here. I've got the camera really funky today. So that's what it comes like. The box is really pretty. It's kind of shiny and then you get this little it looks like a microfiber towel like the towels that you um wipe your glasses with and then this is really pink they definitely have this packaging stuff down pat these people because this is really nice packaging and what did patty figure up saying i think there's 24 um pans in here And it is shimmery. And I paid 50 bucks for this. So that's $2 a pan, which is not bad. Um, because even Primas, you get 12 and they're about 20, 25 bucks. So um, you need to polish your glasses with all this shimmer. So it's part of the watercolor use. No, I don't think so. Yeah, they definitely get an A plus on packaging. Did you order them too, CB? I bet you did. I bet like CB, Eileen, and myself. If Zandra has something, we will all order it. I promise you. Okay, and then they give you this um swatch card in here, and it comes in both Chinese, I guess. I thought these were Japanese, but I could be wrong. Um, and, the, and English. So, yeah. And then you get the, I'm sure this is their entire product line. Yeah. 
this has all the colors that you can order, which you're going to see the rest of them, or at least some more tonight, um, as Xandra's, because apparently she got another set of them. So, and I wish I was more of an expert so I could tell you, you know, that some, um, the case is $13 by itself. Wow. They're Japanese. See, that's what I thought too, that these are Japanese, but the parts of it at least are made in China. So maybe the Japanese have decided they're going to use cheap Chinese labor. All right, I'm going to take them all out and set them outside here. <clears throat> I, I can't say it because I think the person I would be talking about watches my streams. So I can't say it out loud. Kimberly, it doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, the Ruben was a Japanese name. Exactly. Um, Paul Rubens. They fit in here really, really tight, you guys. <laughs> like, the packaging is so pretty. I will definitely keep these little um, pieces that have their name on them. I don't know what I'll do with them, but I'll do something. I might put it in the back of my little swatch journal. You guys know what I'll be doing tonight. I'll be watching. Um, I did get the swatch too, Eileen. We will swatch them. Um, I will be watching Z sitting on the couch playing with swatching these bad boys in my book. Um, oh, and I was going to tell you guys, um, I watched the weirdest show on Netflix. You're going to glue them to the bottom of your pans. Well, I don't want to do that because... I'm really sloppy. Like if you saw my watercolor pans right now, you'd just go, golly, are you a mess? I don't want to get them dirty. <laughs> and I know I will have watercolor from one end of this pan to the, or the whole tin to the next. Dang, boy, come out of there. There. Whew. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oops. Yeah, you can pull the whole thing out. Oh, are you talking down under here? Glue them into your journal right beside the swatch. I might do that, Paula. Oops. So I'll set that aside here. I'll get out. I got to go get, oh, I got clean water right here. I try and keep two waters here, so. And I'm going to use my brush that Cuckoo bought me. It's the Escada. So, um, and I've used this one a lot. I've been using this one in my swatch book. Um, love this brush a lot. On the bottom of the paint pan so I know what color it is. Okay. All right. See, and I've been just... Um, Keeping a swatch inside the tin. I can show you that. But I've just been keeping a swatch inside the tin. Yeah, and all my cream is, I threw all that away. All of it. So let's see. I'm putting back in the um, tin the way they came out. Let me see how good they peel off. No smell. All right. Let me go get quickly a piece of acetate to put those on. Bye, Z. I'll see you tonight. Have a great afternoon. And thanks for getting my order out so quick. I appreciate that. Okay. 
I might need a magnifying glass to read this. Dang, that is shimmery, girl. This has got to be the pearl silver white. And you watercolor people can tell me if I'm doing this wrong. I do need... I'll just do it right on here. I'm going to have another giant mess here to clean up. Eileen. Oh, I need to get some black paper out too, right? Do them on the black. Ugh. Let me get a sheet of black paper out. Don't have black watercolor paper, but I've got black drawing paper. So we'll just use black drawing paper. I bought this black water or black drawing paper because I wanted to um, do some white zentangle on top of it. I think that would be pretty. Oh, that's pretty. And put it on a lot thicker. Oh. I know you do, I think <laughs> you'd live for my house to be trashed out. Oh, that's what I was going to finish telling you. I'm, I'm going to watch that, um, Lynn, some day when I can have two and a half hours when I can just sit and watch TV. But I watched on Netflix um, a show called Dark Tourist, I think, where this guy from New Zealand goes around um, to all the dark tourist places in the world. So it, it, it's like people who do voodoo or um, I don't know. It was just a really weird show. But I found myself absolutely enthralled. Like I couldn't turn it off. That's what a weirdo I am. Oh, pretty. It's called Pearl Platinum. It's hard to see against the white, you guys. So sorry. Oops. And I just went directly. Look at that. Oh, against the black. Yeah, I definitely, definitely am going to need. Hang on. Moving the camera down so you guys can see it a little bit better. Because on that black, you should be seeing that a lot better. When I tilt it, you can see it. I don't know, Jean. They it seems to be working okay. Um, I can see them fine, and when I, you know, tilt them for you guys, you can see them fine too. It's the lighting. I maybe I could check the. Let me shut this and see if I put us in the total dark. Nope. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, did you hear about dark tourists? It um, it's a weird, weird show. I I must say it is a very weird show. Um, but there's something mesmerizing about it. I'm not kidding you. Like I couldn't turn it off. I just kept watching it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find something new to binge. Pretty quick too. So. Eileen says she's watching The Americans on Prime. Hi, Marie.
This is like yellow. It's not gold. It's more yellow. It's really pretty. The shimmer definitely stays on top of the paper, Jean. That one, you can't really see that it's yellow, but you can see all the different colors of the shimmer in it. I don't know. I'm going to have to order the black watercolor paper, you freaks. It was very well done. Um, but it was the subject matter was just so weird. Um, that's all I can say is the subject matter was just so, so weird. Um, really like voodoo, um, they went down to, um, where Pablo Escobar lived, Medavin, and, um, talked with people who, you know, worshiped him. Uh, it's just, it was just really weird. This is gold. Now, as far as the shimmery, um, if you want gold, gold, get the fine tech. Because these are not even comparable to the fine tech as far as absolute knock your eyeballs out shimmer or metallic. Gotta find my rag. What did I do with my rag? I lost my rag and I can't use these pants. After I finished um, Dark Tourist, I started watching Mar Marcella, I think it is. And it's a, a Netflix original series about a girl who, at this point, I'm beginning to think she's off her rocker, um, but she's a detective solving a, a murder or several serial killer. So I don't know. We'll just see how I like that. Oh, now this one's orange. This is some kind of orange. Deep inference orange. Okay, and somebody in um, chat, please explain to me the whole interference color thing if you could please that's how limited my knowledge is explain to me interference and I'll try and remember to watch chat to to see what you have to say I have a lot 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 to learn I just like buying the products the Russians like to have <laughs> okay you watched it, Jean, and it got to, um, I watched Dexter, and of course I watched, oh, uh, what's the one where the, the teacher turns into a drug guy, um, God, I can't believe I can't think of the name of that. Now, here's the real gold. This is called royal gold. So may, I might have spoken too soon about the golds, but I know you're going to have to go real, real far to beat um, the fun. No, this doesn't even begin to compare to the fine tech. Not even close to the fine tech. Better on black. But yeah, not even close to the fine tech. Sorry, I'm off camera for you guys. Got too much stuff here. Can you see that gold down there? This is the gold that I'm talking about. That's not yet anywhere close to um, the fine tech. Not close. Yes, the fine tech is watercolor. Metallic. You get silver. I thought I'd shown them before, Kathy. Maybe you weren't here. Well, I know I've shown them before. You might not have been here. Um, I'll pull them out here in a minute and we'll compare. Um, but yeah, 
as of right now these are very shimmery and pretty no doubt about it i mean if you can see those they're hard to see against the white but these that have more um color pigment in them you can see them better very soft colors um this one that i'm doing now is bronze satin you weren't there okay um yeah i'll show them kathy they are the most amazing metallic watercolors I think I found out about them from Paula. Paula was my enabler on that. Um, and that is one purchase I have not regretted for even half a moment. Now that foil paper that I bought yesterday, I regret the hell out of that because now I can't take it back. The bronze is pretty. <clears throat> yeah, the bronze is really pretty. If you're used to bright, bright colors, um, yeah, these are, are not bright, bright colors. They're very soft. Okay, the next one is Flare Red. And I think it's going to be more pink, looks to me. Yeah, very pretty pink. And it seems like it's resisting absorbing the water, might be me. But this is flare red. Oh, that's really a pretty baby pink color. Yeah, you can't hardly see that on the black. It's pretty though. If you want a soft pink, there's your soft pink. What'd you do with that one out of your set, Eileen? Did you throw that in the garbage? Okay, Kenny. You feel sad that you don't enable, but you get over it. You're probably better off for not enabling. Just buy you a car and wrap it in the foil paper. Yeah, you've really taken some kind of crazy drug today. This one's. And this one, next one is called Deep Interference Red. Oh, and I didn't watch what you guys said about the interference colors. So tell me again. Sorry. No, I put foil over it to never use it again. I think it's pretty. It was darker on Sandra's set, really. Huh. Well, the, now the interference red looks darker. We're going to see. Xandra might have been going directly to the paper, though, too. But I'm trying to train myself not to do that because of Paula. <laughs> Paula told me not to do that, so I'm not doing it. Yeah, the this is a lot darker. Um, the interference red. So, Jean, tell me what interference is all about. Or do you mean the actual pan? It could be the lighting, um, Teresa, too. Oh, now see, you can see the interference red on the black a lot better. Interference is like opal. You see the spectrum of light in the shimmer. Okay. Thank you, Jean. Interference is like opal. You see the spectrum of light in the shimmer. I'm going to try and remember that, Jean. Mm. 
let me see if that's true. I'm not sure that that's true here on the swatch card, but at least I have an idea now. I could never get into it, Maria. I thought it was super chilly. These are the Paul Rubin. Um, I don't know if they're the shimmer set or whatever, but they're we all have just recently bought them. Um, I guess it was Zandra who originally enabled us. Oh my gosh, that's a pretty color. This is called wine red. Oh my gosh, that's really pretty. But Paul Rubin, and he apparently he has several sets. And my brush is too dry. <clears throat> and so these are the ones with shimmer. And then Z is going to show the um, another set tonight, which, oh, Z, I'm not going to buy. I'm not going to buy. I'm not going to buy. Okay, Deco Art sells interference acrylic paint. but with a color, then a certain color is visible. So for example, red interference will be a color with red as shimmer. Okay, thank you, Jean. Yeah, these colors are really nice. They're very soft. I mean, like if you do the, the Jane Davenport brights or some of the primas, they're like, the, the pigment will knock your eyeballs out. It's so bright and it's so, um, I don't know, just so vibrant and dense. Um, these are not like that at all. These are just real soft with the shimmer in them. And on the white, well, yeah, you can see the shimmer on the white. I was going to say the, sh the shimmer on the white is not that noticeable, but yeah, it is. And this is, what color am I doing now? This is just pink, but... I think the pink is going to look just like the red. Yeah, the pink and the flare red to me look an awful lot the same. The flare red, I don't know. But yeah, they're not too that far different. And this one isn't going to show up on the black that much either. I definitely need to try some color paper. And it was love at first sight. Yeah, I'm I'm tickled with them. I think I've got enough shimmer in my life now, though. I will say that. All right, one more for my first row. And this one is rose red. I'm eager to get into the blues. That's what I mean, eager. A lot of the colors look more like shade, like more shades than different colors. I kind of agree with you there, Eileen. Um, from here, um, that wine red though is. That is gorgeous. But the pinks are, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting like Eileen. Seen one, you've seen them all. <laughs> I am a pink lover. I do like pink. And I like to wear pink. But not as much as I like to wear black. You get a nice range of color, I will say that. Um, I would call that like fuchsia. Are you guys seeing that okay? And how's the buffering? Did it get better or what? Um, I think I'm going to have to take this thing out to get this one in because i got to bend that back. 
they fit in this tin really, really tight. I have to say that. Or in, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so it's much better. Thanks. Okay, Sharon is still saying no buffering for her. Okay, I think it's better. Um, this one is Crepe Myrtle. This looks like a, a red-purple mix. It looks really pretty, the the actual pan itself. Eileen, you must have just crapped when you saw all these pinks that you had to deal with. Because this is another shade of pink, the crepe myrtle. It's very much like the rose red to me. I'm going to go direct from this one so you guys can see it better. Can you see that? Oh, on the black. That is delicious, man. Now, that on the black looks absolutely nothing like on the white or in the pan. That is mind-boggling what just happened there. It looks so pink and then it came out so purpley kind of right there. That's crazy, crazy stuff. All right. And this next one is symphony purple. Yeah. I like them on the black too. So then it's like, okay, what am I going to make on black paper? It's not like you're going to build a, Scenery. I'll probably do my squares for sure. I don't know. They're fun to play with for sure. And I'm not sure like doing this the way I'm doing it, you know, adding the water and then swatching it right off is the best way to do it either. Like when I'm swatching my other ones, I spray them with water first, let them soften, and then add the water. Um, and I think you, you get, I don't know, just a, a better swatch. Yeah, on the black, these are amazing. Uh, balls. look at the difference in the two. Crazy. Stamp flowers on the black and color them in will look great. Yeah, Patty did swatch them. So we're all just repeating each other's streams over and over. But you got to do it. Eileen told me to do it, so I'm doing it. Now I'm getting into the blues. This is Deep Interference Blue. Next. Oh, the pan is really pretty. That's a nice, really nice soft blue. All right, I'm going to get a second piece of black paper. I was going to just flip it over, but I don't want to do that. And I've been on for almost two hours now. Wow, pretty. <laughs> 
This one is Symphony Blue. And there, there can't be a huge amount of pigment in these things really because I've been using the same water and my water is still, other than shimmer in the water, it's practically clear. Oh my gosh, that's a light, light, light blue. I was not expecting that at all. But on the black, it's a dark blue. That is crazy. And I know the lighting is really crappy, you guys. I'm not, oops, I hit the camera. I'm not sure I can do anything about that. There's just too much sunlight in here. Had to set up a wobble chair, Joyce. Oh, is that one of your exercise chairs or something, G? Joyce. All right, the next one is called Shiny Blue. I'm not sure what all these other blues have been. They've been pretty shiny, but this is called Shiny Blue. And it's, it, I think, going more toward the green, so it's going to be, um, I would say, more turquoise maybe. Yeah, a little bit. Pretty. You're not going to be able to see anything other than the shimmer on the black. That's crazy. I don't know. I'd have to say shimmer paints. These aren't bad. But if you want gold, if you really want gold watercolor, get the fine text. That's all I got to say. That's what I thought, Joyce. I hope you're feeling okay, Joyce. Because I'm actually, right now while I'm streaming, is, is actually Joyce's time. And she said last night she wasn't streaming, so the valedictorian of Trickerhead U got busy this morning and convinced me that I needed to stream. And I'm sure most of you know who the valedictorian of Trickerhead U is. This is deep interference green. Again, can't really see the green on the black, but you definitely see the shimmer. Who is that? I can't imagine, Eileen. Hi, Safia. You were the valedictor valedictorian. I'm sure of it. I just need to go back and find the yearbook. And this one is fruit green. And it's just a real light, light, light green, like maybe apple green. And you said you like the greens, right, Eileen? Oh, that's a pretty, pretty light, light, light green. Pretty on the black. Oh, uh, why didn't I do that a flip an hour ago? Oh, uh, the light around here drives me crazy. I guess I'm just going to have to learn to work with the overhead light. Because now you guys can see so much better. I'm sorry, you guys. Peregrine. Yeah, very much peregrine.
Of course you like the green. That was a stupid question I asked. The, the packaging is just like knock your eyeballs out shimmer. Okay, the next one is called Golden Maroon. Wait a minute. This can't be Golden Maroon. Let me check the packaging because something here is not right. Because this is, it can't be Golden Maroon. But that's going to be the dark green. That's brown. I kept them in silver black. Flash purple, yeah. I mean, I'm sure I kept these in the correct order. I don't know why would they would call this maroon. I have no clue, none. Oh, that's a different color now. It looks green. Oh my gosh, look at that. And I went directly off the thing that time, on it. Um, look at that green. Holy Toledo. Now that is some shimmery, shimmery green. But then look at it on the white. It's almost like that other one that I said, holy crap, how did that happen? That's the two. Yeah, that's just amazing. Did you think that would happen to you, Arlene, when you were swatching them? Because I know you swatched them. And I'll be swatching these again in my book tonight. Um, hi, Lucy. That is amazing. It's like the whole series that is actually a turquoise thing with the Lindy's. Exactly, Matt. Yeah, because that I was not expecting at all. And this next one they call dark green. And my perfect little pristine tin is no longer perfect pristine tin anymore. <laughs> Oh, the dark green is really pretty on white. We're going to see what it's like on the black. Not so pretty as the maroon, which is not maroon at all. I don't know. Did you think that was weird? And uh, I'm excited to try the B paper, too. I really am. Okay, this next one is called Brown. This is a really nice soft set, I have to say. I guess I'm going to be doing shimmery flower paintings or something. I don't know. How much are these? It's 24 half pans, Marie. Um, for 50 bucks. So $2 a pan, which is not horrible. It's comparable to the Primas, less expensive than the Jane Davenport, which are nothing more than the Primas. Thank you for turning us on to that, Journal Artista. I still have them all and I still love them. The brown is gorgeous. Now, the brown on the black is far more gold than I think the gold. <laughs> no, not really. Optical illusion. In the UK, they are the pounds for the set. No, zero grit, Kathy. There, there is zero grit at all 
Um, and they're not chalky. You know how the um, primas can be a little bit chalky? Um, no grit, zero grit at all. They're, they're more the consistency of the, the nicer watercolors. And I can only say that because my niece got me some of the um, Daniel Smith and M. Grahams, and they're more of that consistency. So, yeah, total different. But the pans are full up right to the top, very nicely, very clean. Um, yeah, the presentation of the product is unbelievably good. This is silver black. Oh, that's a pretty color. Yeah, the brown and the black, the silver black. Oh, gosh, that's gorgeous. We'll see what it does on the black now. Oh, that's nice. No, this goes on very buttery, Kathy, very buttery. Prima now has liquid watercolors coming out. I'm not crazy about the, you'll open yours maybe tonight. Oh, you ordered them. You just haven't done it. You haven't messed with them yet, Kathy. Um, but I have the liquid colors, um, the Echoline and the Hydrus. I like the Hydrus. Um, of the two, I would still rather have the the solid watercolors i really would um one i think they um are more cost effective honestly because most of these watercolors i will never ever ever have to replace in my entire lifetime they will honest to god last me a lifetime no doubt about it even with just the half pans this is the flash purple um it's pretty But these, where you just add the water, yeah, they they will definitely be last in me a flipping lifetime, I promise you. And of course, the hydras I've kind of used crazily. I've used it more like ink. You open the box, but you haven't unwrapped the pan yet. Okay. Yep. I just finished the very last one. Um, hang on. Let me put this in the set itself and then I'll show you doing this right on top of my swatches which is dangerous I'll trash something out for sure all right there the pans fit in there very snugly which I like a lot um So what, I've had this 30 minutes and look at my tins already trashed out. <laughs> okay, hang on just a second, Joycey. Um, that's what they look like. They're very pretty. I'm going to pull the camera out a little bit so you can see more at once. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. And I will do another swatch, probably. I won't keep this one. I might keep this one in here, but I doubt it. Um, because I like to be able to see my colors <clears throat> when I open the tin. So let me see here. I'll open up my B paper and we'll do a little test with that. How about that, Josie? Where's my exacto? Lost it already. All right, this B paper um, is 100% cotton fiber. And I think this may be the first time I've ever used the 100% cotton fiber. I have tons of different kinds of watercolor paper, um, but none of it, the 100 pound. Um, and it, this says that it's what poundage? 
140 pounds. This doesn't seem like 140 pounds, but they say it is, so there you go. Um, so here's all the colors on the black. Pushing up a little bit. Yeah, there's all the colors on the black and all the colors on the white. I'm gonna turn it sideways so you can see. But see how soft they are? They're very soft. All right, we're gonna try them. We're gonna do what Joycey asked for. All right, this one is the top one. Um, she wanted the... The brown, the black, and the golden moon. The black and the golden moon. All right, there's the space in there. Oh, wow. I say maybe have more pigment on this, but there's the brown on their swatch seat. There's the brown on 100% cotton fiber. This brown actually feels to me more like um, bronze. And then the black you wanted. And it could be that these have had water sitting in them now and they're just softer. I don't know. But this um, silver black, that's like the hematite that you like so much, Joycey. That's very much that color. Oh, I'm going to have to play on this 100% cotton fiber. This feels good. It definitely does, jo um, Jean. You are so, so right. It is the paper making the difference. Wow. Because the colors are far more intense. Now I want to swatch them all again. I will definitely be watching on this tonight. And then you wanted the maroon. Is that the one? Which is right before the um, dark green. So... Check it out. There's definitely a green tint to it, but there's brown in it too. That maroon is really different. That is a really different paint. You got that paper too, Kathy? Amazon probably thinks we are twins. Well, now I'm going to the ones that I think the color, that one blue, definitely. It looks so vibrant in the pan, and then when I got it on the paper, it was like, well, that's not nearly as vibrant as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, the paper definitely is making a difference. I've had this paper for about a year and I like it. Use it for card prints. Okay, that's a cool idea. Or Xander too, yeah. You'll get your B paper tomorrow. Triplets, yeah, no lie. Which we do. When do we ever do studies like that? Like which people ordered the exact same items yeah these are in my humble opinion very much more vibrant on the nicer papers so yeah if you're going to use them or do a card front or anything use a nicer paper you i think definitely be happy with the results i want to try on yepo though to yupo yepo yupo oh these are gorgeous they really are now, for those of you that I've talked about the fine tech and you're not familiar with it, um, I'll get it out and show you 
the difference in the golds, you'll you'll freak out. Like it's it's mind boggling how um shiny. It looks like gold leaf. It doesn't look like watercolor at all. It looks absolutely like gold leaf. I keep them really close here. I love, love, love them a lot. But packaging comes and says Colero, I think. Um, handmade in Germany. I don't remember how much these were. Don't ask. Bye, Marie. Have a great afternoon. Um, the maroon is supposed to be a dark brown, brownish red. Yeah, that's the color that you would think, but this has a green tint to it. I don't know. It's crazy. Um, this is what they look like. If you look up, um, if you want to look these up on Amazon, look them up your fine tech metallic and they have other colors as well this is just the gold set um well i've never tried them on really good paper so we're gonna now i'm really excited these i generally get wet i spray first um before i add my paintbrush water so get them pretty damp And I'll use another piece of black paper so you can see these on the black too. I'm just going to do it on this paper because I don't want to waste a paper. Because now that I'm spending a million dollars on paper, um, yeah, I'm going to try not to waste it. So I'll show them to you on the black and the white again. Um, and of all the enabling, I've ever been sucked into or have done myself. These fine tech paints, if you are a metallic paint person, these I I can almost promise you, guarantee you will not be the least bit sorry that you bought. If you're not a metallic glittery gold person, then maybe not. Um, but yeah, these are mind-boggling shiny i'll try and read the um names off as i do them and i'm doing this backwards this is the first one is called sterling silver and they even though like i've used these this pan has a big dip in it but it still keeps that um the texture that was stamped into it now i know eventually it's going away but i've used these a bunch You're not going to see that against the white. I mean, I can, but you guys probably aren't going to how shimmery it is. But wait till you see it against the black. And now maybe when I get some black watercolor paper, I'll be like, holy crap especially on that silver one, but it's still just mind boggling. The next one is called moon gold. I don't have any rose gold. Um, so that's probably why I'll have to, oops, forgot to do it up here. Um, that's probably why I'll have to order from Z again. That's really, really soft. Another thing I've used these for you guys is you can mix up the watercolors and use a brush and use them with your dip pens too. I've done that. The Ganzai Starry Night are great too and a lot cheaper. I've heard, um, was it Edie saying something about that? Those, or just maybe it was the Gamsey paints. I don't know. I don't remember. Next one is Gold Pearl. You need a lot more water, though, I have to say. 
on this cotton fiber paper, like your brush has got to be wet. It sucks the water right out of it in about a half an instant. That's new for me. So this is definitely going to be a huge learning curve, but that's okay. Something else to learn. It's all good. Can you see that? So pretty. That was the moon gold, or the gold pearl, sorry. This next one is Arabic gold. I love this one. I love this one and the Tibet gold. And you'd think, well, how many shades of gold can there be? Apparently a lot because they're all a little bit different. This was the Arabic. Can you believe that? Amazon has bead black paper. Is it cotton fiber paper, Eileen? All right, hang on, gotta clean this out. I've contaminated this somehow. Ah, I can't believe how much water this cotton fiber paper takes. It's not watercolor paper. Okay, well, I don't need any more, just black paper. Got plenty of that going on. And these paints, too. Kathy, Kathy, you probably have some, but. These paints, too, there's no green to them at all. Yeah, lots of water. Yeah, you should have warned me, Jean. There is no black watercolor paper on their site. That's what I thought, too, Eileen. But I'm going to go to Cheap Joe's tonight. I've got something in my basket there already anyway. Um, and I'll see what they've got. I hate to pay for what Arches wants, but I should have bought it in Australia like Z. They had a whole stack of it. Okay, and then another thing somebody who's more familiar with watercolor can tell me um, is on the, the pads of paper that come as a cube, um, a block or whatever they call it, um, how the heck do you get the individual sheets off there? without ripping it up. So can you see this one? This is actually, I think my favorite and it's the Tibet gold. Um, two, four, five, yeah, I haven't done it on the black yet. Look at that. It just is absolutely as smooth as smooth. With an X-Acto, you just cut it off, slice with a sharp blade. Well, I mean, I don't mind asking questions about something like that. I felt stupid asking about that foil today because I knew Eileen would just go, oh, my God, how can you be so stupid? Well, I'm here to admit I can be exactly that stupid um, or use a frosting spatula to lift it up. Okay. So, so yeah, these are the fine tech metallic, gold metallic set. Um, The, in the box here, I think I saved it. Let me see. Okay, here, yeah. When I um, used them with a dip pen, you could actually use the um, every one of these. And, and believe me, this the paint itself is very dense. I mean, it's very thick when you use it like this. But there it is in a dip pen. And it's just absolutely as smooth as smooth can be. Now, this is this same paint on um, black cardstock. But can you see how nice it is?
Amazon is a tricker head. Amazon is evil. <laughs> God, when I get my bill this month, I'm just going to go, you idiot. But that's okay. I haven't gone to Australia lately. <laughs> oh, Arches makes a great little knife to cut their paper. Isn't that handy? <laughs> so I'm happy with the paints. I will admit that openly. Now, when I do this, when I use the top of this like this, um, I'll just have to leave this paint open now and let it dry. Same with the Paul Rubens. I'll just let them sit there and dry because you can re-wet those and use them again. The shipping will be a hundred bucks. That's the thing about ordering anything from anywhere other than Prime. I'm so used to that free shipping. I never even think about it. I just plop whatever I want in my cart and hit checkout. And then in a couple of days, the rat walks in with a cool package. <laughs> Where'd you hurt first hear a bee paper? Oh, James Burke uses bee and not the watercolor. It helps out very well. Well, I'm, I'm interested to play with this. I'll play with it with the um, watercolors that I'm more familiar with later um, because I think that's what's going to um, make a difference to me is I know how the, the Primas have worked both in my little journal here, which will get updated too. I like this. i got to finish shading it. Um, yeah, these bad boys will be put in here tonight, and I haven't put the um, fine tech in there. And then I won't put my inexpensive ones in there. Um. Where'd you go to look, Eileen? Did you look? I'm going to look at Crazy Joe's tonight when I, um, yeah, go shopping again. <laughs> oh, my God. Stop, girl. Stop. So that was kind of all I had planned. Um, let me put this stuff away real quick. I like the Paul Rubens. I do like the Paul Rubens. I like the packaging. Now, see, this is a problem because I won't keep my actual paints in here. But I will have a problem throwing this box away forever now because it's so nice. Ugh. But I won't keep my paints in there, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I won't because I'm not going to open five things to get to them. Let's look at the paper towel that we made. Well, don't go yet. Let's look at the paper towel. Eileen, you need to make a decision about what I'm doing the inside of your cover with. So I, um, there's my exacto. So I know how to proceed. Pencil or pen box. Oh my God, Sophia, that wouldn't hold a fraction of what I got going on around here. <laughs> just saying. Sorry, just saying. All right, let's see. Here is the, this is really weird how this has turned out. Look at how it looks like everything's going away from the middle. And pull this way, way out. I think if I add a little bit more brown to this, Eileen, this may be the best option for the guts of your book. It's very colorful, but I think even if I um, collaged it, It exploded. I know, right? But I don't know. I kind of like that better with this than this. Just saying. And this will get somewhat muted. I mean, this is still damp. Um, I don't know. The paper towel. I like the paper towel too. And I think I'm going to rip it up and collage it. I really do. Um, I'm going to add some more brown, I think, in this area. 
Well, I'm going to do it right now. All right, hang tight. Um, got a lot of junk here. Where is the, there it is. Well, no, that's the sand. I want the other one, Cafe LA. Yeah, this is the one. And then if I want some of the dark brown, I can add the sepia. Get rid of what looks like the explosion. These are definitely your colors, Eileen, I have to say. I just added some brown spots because the vintage photo looks really pretty on here. Probably should have made this go out more to the edges, but I can add to it, I guess. I am going to right now because if I collage it, I end up using more of the paper. Now this has a lot more orange in it, Eileen, so but I think it's going to look good with that cover. I'm not, this is not so distasteful to me as the, that other one we did, the black watercolor paper. Okay. I don't know what she's talking about. Add more green. To the edges out here so I have more paper to work with but I think I'll be okay because I need a sheet what four and a half about two three of those yeah I should have enough I think And I don't mind that it's more green out here because remember, after it dries, I'm going to tear it up so I can put that green really anywhere I want. So excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. The one blue eyed monster of Dune. Oh, you mean this right here? Yeah, because now I can use the green wherever I want. So, turn down the orange a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. Now, what did you get? 50 sheets for 12 bucks, Eileen? The black watercolor paper? I and mean, it can't be the really good quality. Is it really good quality, Eileen? If it is, I need to know that. Because 50 sheets for 12 bucks is unheard of. All right, I'm going to dry this. I think this is what we're going to use. I might add, I don't, see, and if I tear it up, I don't have to use that blue if I don't want to. But I probably will. Probably. And then the vintage photo that I just added, it just kind of disappeared. So I'm going to add some more. Because I like the brown here and there. And I think I'll go back and add the gold. Um, because keep in mind, if I collage this, it's going to be have a lot more texture. 
I think I'll go back and add the um, gold as texture on top at the very end before I put matte medium on it. You don't think it's 100% cotton, um, 135 pound, but it's not 100% cotton. Well, 50 sheets for 12 bucks, it's almost like, thank you, CB, you can't beat that, you know? And it is a really odd weight, 135 pound. That is an odd weight. So there we go. Even the one underneath is pretty. If I want, I can use pieces of this. So I'm going to let this sit and dry. So that's going to be the inside of your book, Eileen, unless you speak up and say something different. That's going to be it. Okay, this is what it says. You found 80-piece alcohol marker set with a cool pencil case with the elastic slots. A dollar and two dollar shipping, Jean? That's insane. Nice deep dark black, 135 pound artist paper with a slightly toothy texture, ideal for use with metallic and pearlescent paints, markers, gel pens, and pastels. Well, Eileen, order it and tell us. It is Richeson, which is a quality wax paint company, so it should be good. Are you saying even underneath there's a clear face? Oh, you mean eye, eye, mouth? Okay. Freckle, freckle, freckle. <laughs> we'll see how this dries. I think it's going to dry good. And then, um, yep, that's what we're using. Yes, I know I wanted the case. Don't care if the markers are good or not. See, that's what I was thinking, Jean, is that the case is worth worth more than the crap they're going to put in it. Anyway, all right, you guys. Um, I think I'm going to call it a day. I've got to clean up this mess now. I'm tickled to death with my Paul Rubin paints. Um, and the B paper. I want to play with the B paper more. I'm glad we got this done. I didn't get a journal made, which was my whole intent today. <laughs> the top layer has a big bird on it. You guys see the craziest stuff that I don't see. There's actually a name for what you guys are doing when you see things in other things. Um, I don't remember what it is, but yeah, there is a name for that. Yeah, I made Eileen happy. Susan, have you not figured out that my whole goal in life is to make sure that Eileen Lyons is the happiest person on earth? That's what my whole world is about. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Margaret. Thanks, CB. We'll catch you guys somewhere. Um, tomorrow is, well, Z is tonight. And then tomorrow, Bren streams in the morning and Jean streams at noon. Well, noon my time. I think it's going to look good inside the journal. We'll find out. It's because I need to shut her up, Susan. <laughs> the girl is relentless. Have you not noticed that? She is freaking relentless. Hi, Vicki. We're just ending up. A white car will be okay. Okay, Elaine. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> you nutcase. All right. Love you guys a ton. We'll catch you next time. The truth is out. It really is. Go play with your fun stuff now. See you. Bye.